Hello, everyone. We are live on Website Dojo. Hi. With Miss Jenna from Website Dojo. You already met her a couple weeks ago. So my second live. This is your second live ever. I'm living my life on Facebook Live, so I'm comfortable <laughs> with it. Um, all right, so uh, let's do. Uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, why don't you kick off with a couple of updates? We didn't even announce this live, even though we're going to be here every Thursday. Every Thursday, you can come and see us. Uh, but uh, we didn't announce it, so I'm expecting a lot of people will come back to it after they get our email blast. So let's let's begin with an update on what's happened in the past week. Sure. Um, let's first talk about uh, current clients and how the proofs are going. So most everybody has gotten a proof at this point. Um, anyone that was in queue uh, to upgrade from their old site to the 0.0 site, most have gotten a proof. If they haven't, it's because they do already have a live website with us and they're going to be getting it within the next two weeks. So we're, and that's, that's just going in the order that people signed up. So we're almost done with those. Um, that's the status on that. Um, anyone that any new signs up, any new signups are all getting, all got their proofs already. And, um, the, the waiting time on that is two weeks. Yeah, it's like normal. Three weeks. So, so we're, we're, we're just to sum it up. We're talking about two groups of people. We have yeah. people that were not website dojo clients that have gotten a new website with us and that is fully on schedule. And then we have, a wave of like a hundred upgrades uh, from people that took us up on a pre-sale on Cyber Monday. And those people already have a website in place. So it's not like they're website less, but we're going in order of, uh, of how they actually requested it. Yeah. So if you haven't gotten it, it's just simply because you're not, uh, you're, it's not your turn yet, but in the next two weeks, everybody's straight. It, it's coming. Yeah. Cool. Um, as far as updates, uh, we did have we do have some things we've done the last uh, couple weeks since we last talked that I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, so something we finished this week and has already rolled out is um, we are now integrated with um, Spark Minds. Um, so we do um, Rainmaker, Kicksite, and now Spark Minds. So um, which Spark is, Mind is a new CRM. Yeah, it's a new CRM. We've had a few requests from our clients. Uh, they started using it. I think it. I think um, I think it was kind of like a beta launch at this point, but we did have some requests for it. Um, so we went ahead and we fully integrated with them. That's ready to go. So if any of you guys are using Spark Minds, just let us know and we can integrate it for you. Um, and then I just want to briefly touch on the fact that how we integrated with um, Spark Minds is um, we we're using something called, and I'll let Andrew explain this further, but we're using something called a webhook. So if you guys have software that you want our the forms on your website to integrate to, if the software you're using uses a webhook, we can integrate them as well. Let, let me take that over real quick because yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit better at dumbing some technical stuff down. So um, the basic explanation is a webhook is a way to make one form or one website communicate with a third-party website, okay? So the most common uh, scenario for, for us, aside from a CRM, is if you're lose, using a landing page software. So for example, let's say you're using ClickFunnels or Unbounce or Lead Pages, uh, and people are filling out your forms on there. We can now communicate via webhook to Website Dojo. So if you got a, a lead on your ClickFunnels, it can be passed into Website Dojo. And similarly, Website Dojo can send information out to third-party uh, CRMs uh, like Rainmaker, like Kicksite, like um, uh, SparkMind. Now, uh, not ev this doesn't mean that it automatically works with every CRM, okay? We're saying right. that it works if that CRM you're using can accept a webhook. And that's all you have to do is ask your uh, provider and they will for sure know. Um, if you have a specific request, like the same exact way we made SparkMinds work in just like a few days, we can maybe, maybe uh, integrate with your particular software you're requesting if we think there's enough of a need for other people to do it, okay? Right. So just, just uh, inquire about that. Uh, right. So... Uh, uh, this is kind Another of, thing we did yeah. this week that I just wanted to touch on was um, I want to talk about the leads module. Um, you guys may have seen um, some improvements with that. Uh, we just rolled that out this week. Um, basically, we've kind of went in and the 
whole leads module. Um, and we've, we've organized it now. So, I mean, if, if you're getting, and we're going to, we're going to get into this, but if, um, you may have noticed some of the forms on your site are email only, and then some are full forms that collect name, phone number, email, program of interest, all of the details. Uh, so we've retold this so that these are now organized. They're now, um, different sections in your leads module. Is it, we're talking about in the back end of your website, when you click on leads, where you can see everybody that filled out a form on your website historically, this is what she's referring to. We have sort of redesigned uh, the lead pages so it's better organized and it's broken up into different sections. Okay, so right. Lead module is a little abstract for them. If you yeah, if you okay. Um, and uh, you, some, some of you guys have asked, some of you guys that have um, a, a, one of our 3.0 sites, um, so our, our last version, asked, you know, when I upgrade to the new site, can I have my leads transferred to the new site? Um, you can. Yes, it, yes, you can. That's one of the updates we did this last week, too. So you just got to, um, if, if it's, you know, if you want to ask us, you, we can do that for you, but we're, I didn't we're trying to that. transfer them. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a, that's a new cool. upgrade with the leads module, too. Awesome. Uh, this is kind of a good segue, I think, into the concept of landing pages, because I mentioned right. click funnels, I mentioned unbounce, I mentioned lead pages. Um, so uh, whenever we tell people our program pages are set up like landing pages, they're kind of like, oh, what does that mean? And then when they get their website, they're like, why doesn't my program pages have a navigation, right? So maybe, maybe let's see if I can actually share a screen here. Okay. I think I can, right? Uh, Maggie, if you're watching this, can you tell me if uh, I'm sharing a screen currently? Okay, so um, I believe I am. Let's just pretend that I am. <laughs> um, so if you actually went uh, from this page, basically from the home page, this is a 4.0 website, right? Uh, so this is the home page, but then let's say you went to a program page. So I'm going to go to uh, this Karate for Kids page. You're going to notice that the top menu disappears, okay? Now, uh, even though you can technically go back just by clicking any of the text above, there is a reason for this. So this is one of our program pages, and um, it's basically set up uh, using a landing page structure, okay? And now I'm going to explain to you what a landing page is, because some of you guys are not fully clear. So let's say, and you're going to start noticing this every time that you go... To, um, uh, to click an ad on Google, okay? Let's say you're, um, uh, you're searching for lawnmowers and along with your, logo, your local lawnmower results, you see an ad for Home Depot on the top that says best, best selection of lawnmowers on the web, right? When you, click to, when you click it, you are not going to go to homedepot.com because if you go to homedepot.com, you now have a universe of options that you could interact with. So you can go to gardening, you can go to furniture, you can go to bathrooms. All of a sudden you're lost. You came there from a lawnmower and you're lost. So what Home Depot does is they will send you to, I'm just using Home Depot as an example, they will send you to a page that only talks about lawnmowers. Because think about it, you just paid for a click on AdWords, so they want to make sure that the page that you're arriving at matches their original search. And, on the and guys, now that we told you this, you're going to see this everywhere. Yeah. Now that you when, you, when you search on Google, you're going to start noticing this. Yeah. That, and this is what we do, too. And yeah, that's why we actually created uh, our pages to work like this. And, you know, so, you know, uh, this uh, lead capture on the right, you see this has only an email only. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, we have uh, these really pretty pages where you can kind of, they're very easy to read, right? So if you scan them, you're just picking up on the real uh, basic information that you need because people are not coming to your website to read, uh, you know, everything there is to know about Karate for Kids. They just want to kind of know, is this for my kids? Is this the place where I want my kids to go to? And should I do this now? Those are the three things that people are thinking when they actually interact with your website. So we want them to be able to scan and get their information, okay? And that is typically how a website behaves. Now, you know, we just launched our um, website dojo thing a couple of months ago, and uh, I've really incorporated like every course I've ever taken and the most current info on our current landing pages. Uh, 
what does a landing page do that our website does not do? Well, the main thing, because we also use landing page software for our Google AdWords and Facebook ads at times, the main thing is it allows you, first of all, to duplicate a page a hundred times. So if you have a hundred clients, you can kind of create the same, the same page over and over and just edit it as needed. But one of the most important things is that it allows you to A, B test something. So A slash B testing. You might have seen this. And um, what does this mean? This means, let's say you have a landing page running for a month with one special and one kind of form. You can duplicate that, uh, pause the first one, and run a second version of it. Okay, And uh, basically it's going to tell you how many visits you got and how many uh, leads it captured. Okay. So it gives you the ability to uh, have those results and statistics on an individual page. So this is something that we are adding to our uh, uh, website. Okay. So what this means is that you could, you, for example, we're looking at this um, Karate for Kids page, right? And um, if you notice, it does not tell you what the offer is. It says Karate for Kids exclusive web offer. Act now. By the way, the site is not live, so. Uh, I'm just using it as an example, okay? Um, and it does have multiple locations here, which I wouldn't on the final. But uh, so this is an email only capture that uh, does not actually have the um, uh, the offer on it, okay? So uh, if you if you see when I actually fill this out, it's going to take me to the trial page, okay? where I actually get to see what the trial offers are. Okay, So why would we want to do an email only thing? Well, because let's say I arrive at this page and I decide that, you know what, I'm actually going to go and check out the other websites in my area. Well, now you've lost your traffic because there's a good chance nobody's ever come back to your website. Except mm -hmm. we capture their email first. So a lot of people have a really crappy experience with email only. Uh, Jenna, what do we usually hear from people? Like, what, what am I supposed to do with this email? Is, yeah, this, is like, this even a real lead? Uh, you know? Right. Is it real? Uh, yeah. This is no good to me. I, I, I mm -hmm. need phone numbers to call people, right? So that's because you've had terrible experiences with people that did not have a system in place, okay? Because capturing an email without having an email follow-up in place is a failing strategy, okay? So um, let's say you did this and somebody did not convert with our website, they're going to be in a week long of email follow-ups, okay? But let's say you're skeptical of what I'm telling you, all right? And you're like, man, I don't know about this lead only without a phone number, right? Which, by the way, I wanna remind you that if somebody actually takes you up on this trial on the next page, for a free trial or a twenty dollar pay trial, you would have that information. So it's not like you're not getting it. You know, right. the point is we're trying to get their email before they even decide if they're going to take their trial. Okay, we're giving you a qualified lead, and we're doing the work on the initial lead. Right. Yes, we want. But 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 let's say you're skeptical. You're like, man, I don't know yeah. what this guy's talking about. I, I I've had bad experience with this. So we're going to give you the ability. Well, you already have this ability uh, to actually switch this out, but you would be able to pause your this Karate for Kids page, right? And duplicate it and try a different form that actually shows you the price in the header. So where here it says exclusive web offer um, and it collects all the information. Okay. So now you would know, let's say for example, the first page ran for 30 days. It would tell you 100 visits, uh, for uh, eight, uh, let's say, eight, let's make it easy. 100 visits, 10, uh, 10 leads, right? So you're like, okay, 10% uh, of my traffic uh, converted. But then on the second month where you had the full form, you had uh, 100 visits and four leads. This is what A-B testing is. You now have the ability to tell which page worked better for you. Because, okay. guys, there's no magic formula here. You have to test. I mean, everybody's in a different location. Everybody's school is different. You know, we have to test. You've got to know your numbers is the problem. Yeah. Nobody knows yeah. their numbers. So we'll touch on that in a second. But uh, so you would basically say, okay, one converted at 10%. The one with the phone number converted at 4%. However, 
I actually got two students out of the 4% one, where I only got one out of my other leads. Therefore, I'm going to move forward with this or test the third one, okay? So this is the point of A-B testing, and this is something that you will be able to do right in Website Dojo and nobody else, okay? So I think this is kind of like a good uh, opportunity, actually. And, and, I mean, this is something we are in the midst of working on right now. So it's something we're excited about. We're, we're launching to use soon. It's not, it's not available yet, but this is what we're working on at the moment. Yeah. Let's, uh, can we talk about the numbers thing, right? Because yeah. what is the most common uh, question that we get? Why well, am I not getting enough leads? Right? Yeah. Well, that's, like, well, <laughs> that's all right. such a loaded question. Let's start with the yeah. whole, uh, let's start analyzing everything. By the way. And if you're not following me on my other page, uh, you're bad because I'm talking about this stuff every Tuesday on facebook.com forward slash Indro Dojo Digital. I made a video called How to Get 100 Martial Arts Leads for Your School, okay? And it wasn't a magic trick. It wasn't some scammy thing. It was just very basic math. Know how many leads you're getting. Know, know how many visitors you're getting. So with yeah. Website Dojo, you have a site statistics that tells you how many people visited your website this month, in the past month, historically, right? So let's say 100 people visited. Then see how many inquiries on the web you got, okay? Uh, how many leads on your trials, how many people contacted us, okay? And you should even know how many people called your school out of interest because you should be tracking that too. We talked about yeah. that as well in that same video, okay? So if you got... 10 leads with 100 visits, you know you're converting at 10%, okay? So if you want to get 20 leads, Jenna, what would you do? I need more traffic. You need more traffic. You double your visits, right? So, yeah. Uh, so again, I did a, like a 20-minute session on this. You should go watch it. But uh, we recommend doing like a 50% uh, paid advertising like, like Google AdWords um, on, on online marketing, I should say, like Facebook ads, Google AdWords, mm -hmm. and 50% your traditional marketing, okay? And then split up the 50% into 80-20, where 80% of the time you're spending making your school and your students' experience better, 20% you're going out and trying to bring in new students because yeah. your existing students are going to bring you the majority of your clients in a sense, uh, you know, well, I shouldn't say that, but if you're not doing any outside uh, promotions, but you're giving your students a kick-ass experience, they're just gonna tell people about it and they're gonna be your brand ambassadors and they're gonna bring more people in. If your school sucks, you, we can get you all the leads in the world. After a week, they're like, man, this school sucks. I'm not going there, right? Yeah. That's kind of- we can't help you there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's sort of out of our funnel at that point. Uh, yeah. So when I talk to people on the phone, uh, one of the things that I ask them is, uh, how much are you currently paying per, per, for lead? How, how much is a lead costing you? How much is a student costing you? Right? And it's like, oh, no idea. I can see blank stares. Okay. This reminds me of a uh, shark tank. You've seen shark tank, right? Yeah. Or the, the, the sharks, they grill them. They say, you know, what are your numbers? And when they right. don't know, I mean, right. They well, basically get laughed off the stage. Yeah. But uh, you know, so I, I can't really, I mean, I don't really uh, blame people in a way because the website thing, this is exactly why we do these videos, okay? It's a, yeah. it's a little bit abstract in certain ways. People it's are new. It's people are confused. It's new. It's only 25 years old, whatever. <laughs> 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 uh, but, uh, uh, you know, so if I ask you what are your numbers or your school, you usually have a pretty good idea, okay? You know how yeah. much you need to pay a month. You know how much uh, you need to make. You know how many students you lost. You know how many students you got to get back, right? That stuff is sort of second nature, right? You don't even need to go to business school to kind of have an idea for those. When I ask about your, what are you paying per lead? Like when somebody calls you or somebody uh, comes on your website, what's the, what's the cost? People don't know. So when you ask me, why did I only get five leads on my website? First thing I gotta ask you is how many visits did you get? I don't know. Well, I gave you a site statistics section in your website so you can go and check that. So now let's see. You got 50 visits to your website and four leads. This could possibly be kick ass or a disaster. 
Because if you live in a town with 100 people in it, and you've got 50 visits, and you've got four leads, you just converted 4% of the population in your city. That's amazing. Right. right? That's amazing. If you live in a place with 100,000 people, and you have a, a website, and you've got 50 visits to your website, and our website is on page one, What's happening? You don't have enough visits to your website and you're not marketing your school. Because yeah. if you're advertising your school, even if your website is on page 10, because let's say you're in a town of digital marketing martial arts specialists. I doubt it, but um, <laughs> let's say you're on page 10. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anybody that is looking into your school through a referral, through a flyer, through any kind of ad is going to your website, okay? And they're going to enter. You have to do all of it. You can. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's still a lead, you know? And so it's like, yeah. it's like, why am I not getting leads? Well, maybe you live in an area that is not quite as populated. Maybe you change domain and you have a brand new domain in a city full of martial arts websites. And that domain is not magically going to be on page one. Maybe your offer's too high. Maybe you want $79 for the first that, week that, of that, classes. That's a beautiful point because, uh, again, we talked about all of this. So uh, I am kind of repeating myself, but just in case you're not watching my every move as you should be. So let's say uh, you got 1,000 visits to your school, to your website, and you got 10 leads. Now, the fact you got 10 leads means there is nothing wrong with your website. It is working. It is capturing mm -hmm. information. There is no broken forms, right? So what is the next thing that we look at? Okay, so your traffic was good. Maybe your offer sucks, right? So somebody has never visited your website, has never heard of you. They come to your website and you have a $89 sign-up special. It's like, dude. That's not a special. It's not a special. <laughs> that's like... A, that's like it's more. It's four times as much as a regular gym membership someplace. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I pay. Shit, I pay like two hundred fifty bucks for my Equinox membership. Right. So, I, but I I have a perception of value with that, and I tried it first. I didn't just say take my two hundred fifty dollars a month because uh, mm -hmm. I just I just need a gym and this website sells. No. People want to try you, okay? So yeah, free trial aids. I mean, let's, important. Look, let's look at our, our trial page on Website Dojo. So we actually give you a couple of things. Um, oh, I'm not sharing the screen. Let's see. So uh, we give you the ability to do a free offer, and we give you the ability to do a paid offer, okay? And the free offer is really the most, the one that we encourage the most, okay? Because uh, it's just... It's such an easy get, okay? Even if you do a free lesson or a free week, people are like, oh, I can't convert the free trials. You can't convert the free trials because people are coming and they don't like your school. Yeah, we can't that's, help that's with that. Really, that's really what's happening. Or, yeah. you know, a lot of people have uh, bad experiences with Groupon, which is a completely different thing because people on Groupon, they, they surf. They surf offers. That That's just a different lead. That's a sh shitty mm -hmm. lead. Sorry, excuse my, my French. Um, but... But there is nothing wrong with telling somebody, hey, why don't you come in for a free class? Or, why don't you come in two weeks? I'll even give you a uniform for 20 bucks. So now, if I've already, I'm on a martial arts website, that means I'm pretty sold on the concept of martial arts, okay? I'm just wondering if you are the martial arts school I want to try. And more, more, more likely than not, there's a lot of schools in your area that have a better offer than $89. Come and see me. That's yep. online marketing basics. Um, any online marketing course that you ever take, they talk about a, tri a tripwire, they talk about a lead magnet, okay? And it's, nev it's always a low-cost offer. And as a matter of fact, there is a hierarchy. The first step is a friendly exchange with a stranger. Why don't you give me your email and I'll let you in a secret part of my website where I have some badass specials. Done. First interaction has taken place, right? Uh, but now maybe they don't trust you yet, but we're following up with the email follow-ups. They come back here, and now they've looked, they've looked around at a couple of websites, but thank God you have those email follow-ups because they forgot 
where your website was, you know, where you're clicking yeah. 10 different gyms. Do you remember what website you went to? No, unless you know exactly what you were looking for. So now the email follow-ups bring them back. They introduce the school owner. They, they, make, they make that acquaintance with a stranger, right? Where now we're able to have a first interaction. So why don't you give them a free class or, or a free opportunity to come in or a paid offer, which is going to qualify more. So the, the reason we do a pay trial is not because we want to generate income on your website, although that's a nice plus. It's because we want to qualify your lead, okay? Yeah. Should we, maybe we'll take an opportunity. Uh, you know what, I don't know if the site has an upsell set up on it, but if you filled out this form um, for, a, uh, for a free trial or a pay trial, after you capture the information, we have a second screen where we give them the ability to increase either the, the time of their training or add some value to it. So maybe two weeks of classes was 20 bucks. On the next screen, it would be, do you want to do a month for $40 and get some gloves or some shit, right? So uh, something like that. So uh, back to the original discussion. Why am I not getting leads? Well, before you come to us with a, well, I shouldn't say that. You can come to us anytime, okay? But, but you should know your website numbers and you should know what we need to work on, okay? And guys, we prefer you, you reach out to us and ask us, you know, sure. instead of, oh, this website doesn't work. It's not, it's not the website. The website's work. It's every, it's everything else. The website's work, guys. And, I, and I'm yeah. not going to say, I'm not saying that there is like no room for improvement because there is always room for improvement. And, and we're always why. working on them. We're but... improving right now. I mean, we're adding yeah. features as we speak to a product that we launched in the past two months. Okay. Uh, but I'm just telling you that so many schools are having success with our website. But it doesn't matter how great your website is, okay? If people are not going to it, it's just not going to work, okay? So if you have your blinders on and you're getting a website and you're kind of like, all right, that's taken care of. Let me move on with the rest of my life. No, your website is strictly a platform for people to interact with you and take you up on some kind of an offer and learn about your programs and find out if these programs are for them. And we give you all the tools to convert the traffic into actual uh, leads. And if you, yep. if you need help, which the only way we can generate traffic to your website is by doing Google AdWords and Facebook ads. And that's a separate service that we absolutely do. I mean, our biggest client is Victory Martial Arts, which has 50 locations. We do AdWords and Facebook ads for all of them nationwide. So believe me, we can kick ass in your town with your one location school. No doubt about it, okay? But um, there's also other things that you can do to improve your rankings and add traffic. So if you go to facebook.com forward slash Indra Dojo Digital. Sorry, I live in New York. I don't know if you can hear honking outside my window, my office window. Uh, but facebook.com forward slash Indro Dojo Digital. This week on Tuesday, I did an article um, highlight and a video about uh, setting up a Google My Business listing and optimizing it to increase your local rankings. These are things that you can do so easily and improve the placement of your website, okay? And then if you guys really need to listen to Indro's lives. I mean, you're getting free information. It's only going to, it's going to help you. It's I'm, free. Listen, I'm, listen, <laughs> I'm definitely trying to get clients. That's for sure. But none of you guys are under contract. That means any of you can leave at the, at the, just the bat or an eye. You can leave and go somewhere else. And I can't tell you how many times people leave without even telling us there ever was a problem. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, hey, yeah, uh, I just want to let you know that this is going to be my last month with your website. It's like, really? Why would you do that? And where could you possibly be going is actually the question. Like, <laughs> if our website didn't work for you, or are you going to go to these other martial arts sites? Because we know that, uh, I mean, uh, of course, I'm biased, and you can go try them all, but uh, we know that it's very likely you're going to experience the same issues you had with yeah. us when you go somewhere else, unless you change your marketing. 
So if you're going to change up your marketing, maybe you should stay with a website that actually works better than theirs. And so you should reach out to us. So reach out to us before it's too late, but watch this info because I'm giving you this info so that you can make your site work for you and you don't leave because hopefully you'll stay a client with us for the next 10 years, 20 years, however long this world is going to last. And uh, the thing is, uh, you know, because of the fact that we don't put you under contract, we continue to better and evolve this website for you. Yeah. And that's why this client right here is a, actually a super dear friend of mine, uh, Master Tina Newberry. Uh, she's uh, one of my first printing dojo clients uh, from 10 years ago. This is like the fifth website, fourth website we've done for her in five years. Okay? And uh, she is currently uh, taking a copywriting course with one of my copywriting mentors that doesn't know I exist, um, <laughs> who I've taken the same course, okay? Uh, but uh, but uh, I wrote my entire website based on this information that I learned, and I used this text after seeing him speak at a seminar, and now she's taken this course, and she's going to come back to me, and we are going to put our minds together and see what did I miss out of that same course that you picked up on that we should change. And guess what, guys? That's how we learn. That's how we improve because I am not infallible and I'm always learning. I do have a beginner's mindset, though. Yeah. Uh, I am always, always, always opening. I'm going to a badass uh, digital marketing conference in exactly 12 days, and I can't wait, okay? It's the kind of thing that Jenna would probably jump out the window before ever attending, it's three years I'm asking her to come with me. She does not want to come because she doesn't have a marketing mind or, well, not enough to go and listen to it for three days or 10 hours a day. We wouldn't be good partners if we did the same exact thing. I love it. I can't wait to go. I actually, I can't wait. I can't wait for Tina, for Master Newberry to come back and be like, ah, what did I miss? I'm really curious mm -hmm. to know, right? And, and then we'll take in consideration, you know, I might actually, I might actually disagree with some of the things that, that get brought back to me and say, well, this does not apply to me because I know for a fact from my own testing that this is not necessarily a great uh, idea, but I can absolutely do it for your website, right? So. Yeah. And before we get off, Indra, let's give a master uh, applying. Oh my God! Yes, for Quick sure. Shout out on those videos you made. Okay, so uh, I mentioned uh, last week, and then I am gonna admit it. I slacked. I did not email you guys, and the reason I did not email you guys is because I had just done an email blast like a day or two before, and I didn't want to come too strong with the same info. Um, so I made a series of videos for website dojo clients, telling you what kind of videos to make for different sections of your website. Okay. And at the same time, we have a Facebook group called Martial Arts Live Content Creators, where we have been uh, sharing some information on how to make videos and how to get set up uh, and, you know, just kind of like help each other out. So uh, if, if I can have actually Maggie in comments, leave a link. Master Pline with um, uh, Travers <laughs> ATA has been just like psh, knocking it out of the park, making the most fun and just uh, take they're so funny. And, they're great. Yeah, they're, great. they're they're awesome. So so we're gonna be inputting their website, uh, their videos on their website, and it's gonna give their website so much personality. Okay, mm -hmm. because you get to see, uh, especially the one that they made about you're in the right place, right? So I made in one of the videos I said on the homepage at the bottom we have a place for a video. Which by the way, we can move this up or down. We can re rearrange this however you want. Uh, so you belong here. If I say you belong here, but I don't really provide any uh, supporting evidence of why that is, um, it's not quite as good as if Master Pline and his Master Instructor are there, and they're like, you are in the right place if you're looking for a place to uh, train your child, or you're in the right place if you're looking for, for a, a fitness routine as an adult, you're in the right place, and then at the end, kids come, and they all say, you're in the right place. Because there is so much more effective than a professionally shot video. I mean it. Yeah. That's like, if you, if you follow like Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, and you should, I mean, I don't need you to be online marketers, but you need some kind of inspiration to be 
better businessmen, better uh, businesswomen, better communicators. Increase like the your the effectiveness of your marketing, right? Everything that Gary says is people on the web, especially nowadays, they reward authenticity. Okay. Yeah. You need to be authentic rather than fake and polished. And you know what I mean by fake and polished. Like you guys love to use the term mech dojo. <laughs> right? So like what's a mech dojo? Mech dojo is some it's a belt factory. It's a, oh my instructor was so much better than that instructor. Blah blah blah. But guess what? Sometimes these mech dojos have some really amazing shock commercials where the kids are flying in the air and they're like never landing and they're just like whoa whoa whoa. You know what? Most parents are gonna be like Man, I love my son, but he is not athletic like that, right? Like, he cannot do that. Uh, whereas, uh, and they see a professionally shot, uh, uh, you know, commercial with a guy that is kind of clearly not even somebody that works there. It looks like a hired spokesperson, right? And then they go to Traverse ATA and they see the actual owner and the instructor in the place where they're going to go after they actually take him up on a trial. And they already feel like they know these people. These people are nice people. They're, they're, there's so, so much spirit. Look at all those kids. They look like they're having a blast. I could see my kid in that place. That's totally what he needs. Yeah. I love it. I was sold. I love it. Oh, shit. They have a free trial. Okay. No brainer. Here's my yep. information. Okay. And then when they go in person, they're like, hey, I feel like I know you. Why? Right. Because I saw your videos on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw I saw your 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 website videos really kind of turned me on to coming in here because they were so real and authentic and you guys are just hilarious, right? So that's what we mean about creating this content without being a marketing genius, okay? It doesn't take long. Jenna hates getting on video. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm getting used to it because I'm doing it a lot. Uh, I'm doing my best. Yeah, it's, it, it's not like the most natural thing for everybody, right? Like, but... But, you know, the thing is, we're, we're here now. When we go to events this summer, people are going to recognize us, and they're going to come up and talk to us and feel like they know us. And that's why that's why I'm doing this. And it know? also makes conversation with potential leads that we get much easier if they've sort of been in our universe watching us and listening. And, you know, it's not like, I mean, it's not bullshit. We're, talk, we're telling you the same exact, you are, most people watching this are our clients. Um, but we're telling you the same things that, we would tell anybody because we're sharing this information because we want to build that authority that makes you believe that we know what we're talking about when we actually give you a martial arts website because it's such a crucial point of your marketing is your website, right? Uh, so what do you want to do? You want to do the same exact thing for your audiences. You want to build authority. You want to make friends with strangers, okay? And you know what? You don't need to be a good camera, a friendly face. You don't. You might have a face for radio. Who cares, right? Like you need to actually be yourself because this is not a. It's not a Wizard of Oz where they're you know they're gonna see one thing online and then come into your school and it's completely different. This is why I have a real um, anti stance on some of our market or, or of our uh, competition. That, doesn't, that do not allow you to customize your website, okay? Because we make it easy for you. So if you don't have time, you don't have photos, maybe you just open, we have plenty of stock photos and text to go by, okay? But if you want your site to be truly unique, and uh, let's look at, um, for example, this is, uh, this is another client that we launched. I think I showed this last week, but <laughs> it's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, so. They use all their own photos in here, okay? And they customize a lot of their text. So we give you the ability to do all that, all right? And, and if you make an awkward video where you share great advice on the web, that is going to come back to, uh, it's gonna be a rewarding thing for you, okay? That's, uh, people are gonna be like, hey, you know what? The guy's cool, he told me three weeks in a row, little bits of advice that uh, I could use for my child, and uh, it seems very trustworthy. I would totally send my school, my 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 uh, kid to train there. Anyways, this is going on and on and on. Uh, Forty minutes. I think we can we can uh, 
kind of kill it. The reason the reason I feel okay with doing this is because we had Maggie live tweet this whole video. So we're gonna put an outline at the beginning of it. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing, you can kind of jump to different parts of it that are of interest to you. Okay. Uh, I know we didn't promote this live today either, uh, but again, I'm kind of having to find a, a fine line between emailing you guys all the time, and that's why we're doing these Facebook groups and these webinars, okay? But this is uh, ideally, in the future, a place where you guys can ask me questions. And even if you're not website with your clients, I'm here to give out this, informa this information. And I'm going to talk about Gary V one last time, okay? Gary V says, if you cannot provide information for free to generate interest into your business, you are just never going to have a successful business. There are no secrets. There is the internet. There are a million competitors. The best thing you can do is put yourself forward, put yourself out there, invite people to go to your web website, have a badass website, have a way for them to interact with you and capture those leads. And ultimately, your school needs to be as nice as your website. Good luck with that, but that ideally is the end goal, okay? So personalize these sites. Uh, when you get your 4.0 proofs, if you haven't gotten them yet, uh, please be in touch with us about customizations, things that mm -hmm. you might not be fully familiar with. Info and, at WebsiteDojo.com. Yeah, please don't text me with this stuff. I know a lot of you guys have my number. <laughs> yeah, email us. Info at WebsiteDojo.com. Info at WebsiteDojo.com. There are literally like seven of us that will get the different parts of information. Some of it might be for a designer. Some of it might be for me. Some of it might be for Jenna. Some of it might be for uh, Maggie uh, that does the marketing. So it's much easier if you go through our main email box that way we can parse it out the way that it needs to be and if you're like man i wish i could get a hold of indro i'm on facebook live every tuesday and every thursday at 1 p.m eastern and if you don't come and talk to me it is your bad oh sharon you missed it uh, i'm gonna start over 40 <laughs> minutes i'm gonna start over now sharon don't worry about it i'm not gonna delete this so it's gonna stay on here so you can watch it back at your own leisure, okay? And I want to let you guys know that I'm actually also starting a podcast. Woo! Exciting. I mean, uh, it's a lot of work, and I am. I, what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to be starting a podcast very soon. But I'm actually going to have one next month for sure, and I'm going to do a huge, massive webinar and... Um, the webinar is going to be called, hold on a second, let me get Jenna in here, back in here real quick. Okay, we're back. So, I am doing a webinar, uh, second week of March, and it's going to be called the Eight Phases of the Martial Arts Customer Journey, okay? Uh, this title is a little bit of a work in progress, but I'm going to cover all the different stages of a lead from complete unawareness to actually um, in, uh, to actually uh, upgrade uh, an existing member. Okay, so we're building this. I'm going to this huge conference in San Diego in two weeks. So I, I want to come back with all kinds of information for you guys about what is in the near future. What do we need to be working on to give you guys the best websites? What do we need to do? Uh, Sharon, does your website work with Spark? If it's a 4.0, yes. Um, yep. If you're on a 3.0, you need to get on a 4.0, so talk to us about that, okay? Uh, you don't have to, but you should. Uh, do, 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 do. I think that's it. Let's, I, think that, I think that's it, yeah. Yeah? All right, uh, so we're going to keep this posted on here. Uh, this uh, live feed will live in eternity. Okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll be back next Thursday. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Info at WebsiteDojo.com. Uh, if you are not a Website Dojo client, go to WebsiteDojo.com, put in your email, download the demos, watch all the stuff, 
you will have a link there to set up a marketing call with me. I'll do a 30 minute session with you. I'll talk to you about things. If, you do, if you're not ready to pull the trigger, maybe I can uh, give you some valuable information. And my personal page, every Tuesday, facebook.com forward slash Indro Dojo Digital. Go there, talk to me and uh, interact and let's get to know each other. All right. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Okay, guys. Bye. See you later. Ciao.